Hi. Hey, Team Butterfly Effect. It is Aubrey, and it is currently Friday, April 24th, 2015. And I am doing a pre recorded call for you all today, primarily speaking because today is Super Friday in Fort Worth, Texas. And I hope all of you are attending your own Super Saturday or Super Sunday, wherever you are, if you're not in Fort Worth and going with me. But um, I am, I have the honor now of being on the Fort Worth Market Council, Coach Market Council. So that means I have to be there early for, um, I have to be there early to help man the tables and the booths and everything. And Trisha and I and possibly Becca are going to be there early. Trisha and I are leaving here around 4.30. So that means I will not be available for our call at the general time. So thanks for um, listening and watching this post record, watching this recorded. Uh, this is going to be a really short and sweet call today. Mainly, I want to address something that uh, me and some of your VIPs thought should have been in the new coach training that was, uh, was left out. So I thought I would just do a quick training on shake and shares. What, first and foremost, what is a shake and share? So as we know, Beachbody is it's a MLM just like Mary Kay or Cincy or whatever. And I'm sure you have been invited to, at one point in time, a jewelry party or a Mary Kay party or a Cincy party or a, um, what's the fingernail craze, Jamberry party. So those, in essence, they, those are glorified networking events for people to be able to share their products with people. Because there has been proven data that share, shows that live events are the most successful way of gaining new customers and distributors, which is true. So shake, shake and Shares are our way of sharing Shakeology and sharing our passion for Beachbody with people live. So there are several different ways to do a Shake and Share. Let me start out by sharing, you, sharing with you the most basic way to do it. So first, you pick a date, and it's a date that works best for you and what you, who you feel like your demographic uh, would be available for. So say, for example, you know, churchgoers don't want to do it on a Sunday morning, but if you're not a churchgoer, maybe that works for you and your tribe better. Um, if, if you're more of a social type person, an evening event might be better or maybe a Saturday afternoon. Whatever works better for you, you set a date and you set it with your coach. If you never had a shake and share before and you live in the same city as your coach, set one up with your coach because it is most, um, you're going to have the most success if he or she is there to help you do it. Uh, if you are my personally sponsored coach and you're local, message me ASAP. Let's set up a day and time for your shake and share. If I am not, I mean, if I am your personally sponsored coach and you're not local, then obviously I can't be present for your shake and share. However, maybe you can band together with one of your personally sponsored coaches and you can do it together for the first time. So pick a date and create a Facebook event and send it out to anyone and everyone who you think might be interested. But don't just stop there because you probably have some friends who might be interested who aren't on Facebook so or who aren't active on Facebook. So at that point, you send out um, – you send out a message and you know, I would, I wouldn't give them all the details. I wouldn't make it a big sales pick about sales pitch about Shakeology, but maybe say something like, um, I don't know if you've noticed or if you knew, but I started my wellness journey on such and such date or around such and such time. And I've really become passionate about health and fitness and wellness and would really love to, Help others the same way my coach has helped me. And so I'm having a gathering to sample Shakeology because it's been paramount in my, in my journey so far in regards to my nutrition. It's been a game changer for me. So if you'd like to come over and just really and socially come try out some of some Shakeology and come check out stuff that I've been doing. It's on this date at this time. Hope you can come. So you know, you send out an invite just like we do with anything. And let me share with you guys, if, you know, you're working your business and you're doing so many invites a day, inviting people to shake and shares 
can be counted as your invites for the day. You're hitting your invite goal for the day. So you've invited people. Well, it's the, almost the time of the event. What do you do to prepare? You, you want to do your best to get your hands on all of the flavors of Shakeology that there are. And if you don't personally have all the flavors of Shakeology, maybe you should consider purchasing some samples. If that's just not in your range right now, maybe you band together with some of your teammates if you have them and try to run up some samples. Like I know for, for events, I've, I've purchased um, just single single sample packets from Becca and Trisha and Jill and you know from Anne when she was in town all the time whenever I, I was running low on samples so make sure you have one to two servings of every flavor to the best of your ability so how can one serving be enough well this is like I mean we're doing all what am I saying right six flavors vanilla chocolate green berry, strawberry, and our two vegans, so seven. Also, so if we're doing seven, seven different shakes, okay, so even if you were to break them down into tiny little samples, out of seven different shakes, you're still probably going to almost get up to a full serving because um, the way I'm going to explain it to you, you're going to make it in two different ways. And so if they're trying it one way with just water and then another way with bulked up, they're going to get full. So they literally, they only need to be getting a taste of each flavor. So if you anticipate a large gathering, maybe two servings of each flavor. If you only anticipate a handful of people, you really can get away with one scoop um, per flavor. So then you want, you can go about it two ways. Either one, you can just get the ingredients and the recipes, pick the ingredients for your favorite Shakeology recipes. So I would highly encourage boiling it down to your favorite recipe for chocolate, your favorite recipe for vanilla, your favorite recipe for strawberry, like one, 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 one. If you have multiple, then maybe you can have multiple ingredients, but have the ingredients to make a version of every shake. Another thing that I've seen, oh gosh, I think Alicia did it. No, Eileen, Eileen did it. Um, she sent out a message to some of her coaches. I think it was Trisha's idea that her coaches, her, her people coming to the party that asked them to share some of their favorite Starbucks recipes or Jamba Juice or what do they normally get at Smoothie King. So she knew things that she could make to compare it to because like someone got like a caramel macchiato and so a, a salted caramel macchiato from Starbucks. And so we made a salted caramel chocolate Shakeology, which was absolutely to die for. And I've never, I've not, had never added caramel, um, caramel extract into my Shakeology before. And had, had she not done that step, we wouldn't have come up with that great idea. So you can ask people what their favorites are. So you can go one of two ways, either try to make ones that are best for everybody else, or you can try to make ones just ones that you know are great. So you have all of your ingredients prepared. Um, I like to set up a display. So as people come in, so all like a, it's different displays. So one display maybe on, on one area next to your TV of all the different workout videos that you have of Beachbody. Maybe it's just a couple. And also with their, their nutrition guides and everything sitting there. So people can just have stuff to flip through. But people like to touch things and flip through them and see. Um, maybe on your counter have a Shakeology counter, the calendar setting out where people can see how they come with all different recipes. Uh, have just as much of just the pamphlets and stuff that I can just find just to sit out, do it. If there are any other Beachbody products you use, like, um, I'm gonna turn on this light so maybe you can see me better. Maybe that's a little bit better. If there are any other Shakeology products that you use, um, like I, I use the Activit and the, uh, the CalMag and the uh, Omegas and, P90X results in recovery and E&E and alkalinize joint 
joint rescue and immune boost. I think those are all the things like I have in my pantry. So I just pull it out and I just set them all out so people can see that it's more than just Shakeology. Do I talk about that kind of stuff? Not really, not, you know, maybe not. Maybe I have my ultimate reset stuff sitting out too. I don't really talk about that or promote it, but it's there for people to see and ask questions and touch and feel and look through on their own. So you set up displays. So when people get here, what do you do? It really helps to be prepared if you have capabilities of for smart devices. What do I mean by smart devices? Um, you know what? I'm going to move my computer. Walk with me here for a second because I want to show you my cord. So we all know what a smartphone is, right? But most of us have some sort of TV that is more technologically savvy than you probably know. Um, most TVs now have a have jacks. I'm, I don't know all of the technical terms, Jacob or um, Ann or Brian or whoever's going to be watching this later and be like, oh, is she talking about? Um, I think they're called auxiliary jacks, maybe. Um, but if you look, we literally have to keep this cable at our house, and this side plugs into a TV. This side plugs into a TV, and this side plugs into my laptop. So anywhere I go, whether I'm at one of my coach's houses or I'm, I'm at my house, I can hook up my computer, my laptop to my TV. Uh, if you don't have that capability, maybe you just have your laptop out somewhere where it's visible, where people can see it. If you anticipate a big group of people, you might want to invest in one of those cables. I don't think they're that expensive. Um, you might want to invest in one to make it just more user friendly for more people to be able to see. So people get here very um, informal. Once you think the most people, most people are here, if I'm your coach and if I were there with you, I would start out by sharing like the cliff's notes of my story. Because when people look at me and they see me, they don't know that I've had a transformation. They don't know I've ever struggled. They don't know anything about me. So I share a small, portion of my story and then I share my beach body story which leads me to the meeting of the person who's throwing the party so I'll tell the story of maybe how I met Brett um, and and her and I have a shake and share coming up really soon so maybe I would share with how I met Brett and then from there um, from from there then she would lead off and say um, her tell her beach body story and why she decided to get involved and why she decided to be a coach so that's done so the introductions were done then we just tell them okay guys well let's let's just share with you guys some of share with you a video on Shakeology so I generally always share just the basic video in um, our back office. So if you're curious to know which one I share, I'm going to share, I'm going to screen share with you. And I should have already been logged into my back office in preparation, but I'm not. So come with me for just a second down the rabbit hole. So let's go to my back office. And let's get signed in so I can show you the videos that I like to share. And also remember, guys, you need to go into this deciding if you're going to be promoting a challenge or not, if you're going to be promoting a program. So if you're currently doing the 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme or PIO or, or P90X or anything like that, if you have a particular program that you're going to be promoting, you need to make that decision ahead of time. Um, or is it primarily going to be about Shakeology or just what everybody wants and needs? So that's completely up to you. Okay, there's room to be flexible here. See, for those of you who gripe about having inactive coaches, look, I have 17 coaches in, affected to be inactive. So don't gripe to be at me about that. On unactive coaches. I'm just teasing, but not really. Okay. So as we scan down here, let's look at products and Shakeology. 
So the one I normally share <clears throat> is Shakeology Breakthrough. What can Shakeology do for you? So okay, we we all we all know what that is. So I'm going to stop the screen share now. Okay, so that's the one that I normally use. Um, I show that video, and and then I say, well, so this is this is going to explain what Shakeology is, what Shakeology is. After we watch the video, if we're promoting a program, maybe I'll show the 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme. Um, video and then after that it will just be like okay I guess you want to mix up some shakes sure let's mix up some shakes you know a, a previous shake and shares that I've done guys um, I've I've also showed the introducing Team Beachbody video to introduce the opportunity to people. I don't do that as much anymore I mainly share that with people who I know are interested in the opportunity okay I make this more about Shakeology and the programs and then literally we just mix up a whole bunch of shakes and just let it be really informal. People are talking, people are asking questions and so on during that time frame. Um, and I always make every shake two different ways. One I call naked. That means with just water and ice and that's it. So they know what it's going to taste like without anything in it. And then I make the favorite recipe. And if you have a smaller group, literally I just do half serving. So like a half a scoop and then, excuse me, about five to six, five to six, about five to six ounces of liquid there, right? Water or half and half of whatever you're doing, the recipe that you're making. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. That's it. I generally always have my laptop then set up somewhere with my website pulled up because I have had a shake and share before where literally someone signed up to be a customer like purchase their stuff right there without even telling me that they were doing it. Literally. It was like, well, I just ordered such and such or they would be filling stuff out and, or someone was signing up to be a coach and they're like, well, why do you need my social? I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm signing up to be a coach. Oh, okay. You know, so that's happened before. So, um, so have your laptop out because with your website up because you may, it, it may be a way that someone may just start surfing around without you even having to, to, to sell or pressure or do anything like that. Oh, excuse me, guys. I apologize. So that is one way of doing a shake and cheer. One other way, I mean, you can make it as fancy as you want to. I had one last year. Um, it was called Wine and Wellness Party, which I need to do one again. Uh, that was actually really, really fun, and where I made it, did it whole, for the whole team, and uh, it was it was all about clean eating, and it was in the evening time, and I had a whole bunch of clean food because a lot of people don't know what clean food is, and as we were eating, oh, it was also you know I'm going to have a whole bunch of wine here, and if you're going to drink more than two glasses of wine. Pre please bring a bottle. You know what, guys, everybody bought, brought a bottle of wine. And so I ended up not having to use any of the wine that I bought. So it ended up not being nearly as expensive as I thought it was going to be. And it ended up turning out to be a lot of fun. Everybody stayed and hung out and, um, and had wine and drink Shakeology. It was a great night. So, so I, I mainly just used that time as we were sitting around eating as an opportunity to kind of add some more value for them. I pulled out some nutrition labels and I taught them how to read nutrition labels. If that's not something you know how to do or value you feel like you're able to bring yet, then don't put that pressure on yourself. The longer you're a coach, the more value you have to give and the more value you have to share, the more you can expand on the way you do a shake and share. So really that's it. You invite people, you get them there, you tell your story, you tell, you show them a video on Shakeology, you show them a video on a workout program that you're promoting. If you choose to do that, you mix up, mix up some shakes, let everybody taste them, and then you answer all the questions. Hopefully, hopefully you have people committed and ready to join your challenge by the end and maybe actually getting people signed up or getting people's order processed by the end. If I was your coach I would be, and I was present, I would be staying there with you until I felt like I had given all I had to give, maybe helped you close some deals, helped you um, got some, some new challengers committed, and um, then I would probably leave because if the person who's not 
other friend is there for too long, it may feel like I'm kind of like pressure, you know, so I would actually probably leave and let you finalize everything. Um, and that's that's really it. And I know for some of you, you hesitate to do this, but let me share with you that the only people that come are the people that are interested. So I generally have about, I would say, 80 to 90% success rate people converting to customers after they've been to a shake and share because that's the biggest problem why people don't like Shakeology is they don't mix it right. People don't like it. They usually haven't mixed it right. They made it with an awkward flavor. They just haven't found the flavor that's right for them. So the people who are coming that are interested, so don't feel like once the people walk in the door, there's any sort of pressure is concerned because they're already interested or they wouldn't be there. Um, so that's it. I hope that helps you guys. Um, I highly encourage you, if you're new or if you're old in the business, to do a shake and share. I know that's how we got Anne to Diamond, I mean to Emerald, that's how we got um, Trisha, I mean that's how we got Becca to Emerald, I feel like that's how we got Jill to Emerald, um, also Trisha, however Trisha does it a little different manner, she's really passionate about uh, this documentary called Food Matters, so she does a Food Matters viewing party. So she doesn't do it exactly like the way we just did it. She she um, invites people over. She plays this. It's like an hour and a half long documentary, maybe two hours, where they all are eating healthy foods and watching the documentary, which the majority of the foods that are all listed in this documentary that they talk about, the superfoods, are also all in Shakeology. So that's her lead way in. It's like all those superfoods are in this bag. So let's try it. And that's how she segues. So you can be as creative or as basic with this as you want to be. But know if you are really, really interested in working this business, I highly encourage it. However, I think Anne would probably vouch that you don't have to have a big shake and share to make this worth your time. Um, one of her coaches who was pretty active there for a while, who was very successful for a while named Christina, she was um, avid on doing play dates. And when she would invite moms and kids over for play dates, she would do like a mini shake and share for them, like a personal one, and like mix them up a couple different flavors. And she was very successful in that way. So however you want to get people over to your house, whether it be one at a time, whether it be in a big group of people, invite people over, let them try it, you make it for them, and then go from there. If you have any questions further regarding this, please message me. Have a great day. Thanks so much for listening in. And I hope you have a shake and share soon. Bye, guys. Happy week. <laughs>